Hey YouTube, the nerd name Danny here, and today I bring you my first PHP tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to select all the rows from a MySQL database using PHP, of course. I've already set up a database called PHP Type 1 and a table called Users and put three test rows in there. And I have my blank PHP file here. What we're going to be creating is this, and but I'm going to walk you through it step by step. So here we go. Firstly, open your PHP code. After that, we are going to want to establish a connection to our database. So con equals MySQL connect. And then it takes three parameters. The host, which is localhost for most people. The database username, which for me would be root. And the database password, which I don't have one. After that, we're going to select the database, MySQL select db the database name which will be php tut one using our connection variable that we set up after that we are going to check to make sure that our connection is good with an if statement if no query or if no con rather then die mysql error So I'm going to go ahead and save that and make sure that we don't have an error, which we don't, and then continue on. So now we're going to query. So our query variable equals MySQL query. And then now we perform our query on the database. So select all from in our table name, which is going to be users. And then we're going to check to make sure that our query is good also. So if no query, then die MySQL error. Now, do you have to check your connection and your query? No, you don't. But if you do have an error, you wouldn't. Um, well, you would know. You would know eventually in a moment when we get to more code. But this will actually output and tell you like what line and what area of your query is wrong. So go ahead and save that and check it, make sure there's no errors coming up, and then continue on. Now we're going to do a while loop, which will run for each um, database entry that we get. So while row equals MySQL fetch array from our query, and then open and close our brackets. So what that did is it set up a array called row which will contain each um, column from our database. So then, for example, now we're going to go echo row UID, which is the user ID. And that's going to echo 1, 2, 3. This is user ID 1, 2, and 3. But we don't want them all scrunched up like that. Maybe we want to put a dash in between them. So to do that, we're going to use the dot operator so then we can put in a um, a string and I'm just gonna put in a dash with two spaces around it there so it separates all of them now maybe we want to echo our username too so go ahead and echo row username and then our dashes again one Danny two Sammy three Jessica there you go and finally echo our password echo row password and then after that instead of a dash we're gonna put a line break which is what that tag br does so we should be done now if we look it'll say one danny and then my password two and so on and so on now that'll work for however many rows you have like if we had another row in there with a username um Bob in the password I like pie. Did we already do that? Yeah, I enjoy pie, whatever. But now we're gonna have a new row for Bob I like pie without having to do anything else into our query. So finally just be sure to end the PHP tags. Um I will have the source available for download in the description and I will add comments in explaining like what each line does and whatnot. Now it was my first PHP tutorial, so be sure and leave me a co uh, um, a comment and like the video and subscribe if you liked.
the video so that I know you appreciate these and I'll be sure to make more. Thanks for watching.